previously on Sailing Catalpa. We say goodbye to Grandma Shawnee, find out the problem with our anchor winch, and we talk to a legend, Doug, who offers to help us out with our windlass. So it is Sunday and it's Mother's Day. Uh, we're stuck here in Timor-Leste still, literally. We cannot pull the anchor. We have no anchor winch still. But it's Mother's Day, we're going to make the most of it. Uh, Bella's cooked us up a little meal, a little brekkie, and Mama hasn't opened a present yet because first things first, yoga comes first every morning with this Mama. She's just about done a little practice. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day! Thank you! <laughs> That's a downwards Mother's Day. So that we can go do fun things today. So, Mummy, Where'd Happy that money Mother's come Day! From, Bella? <laughs> Love you so much. Explain. Hope you have the best day ever with your family. You are the best mum ever. Love you so, so much, and I hope we are somewhere beautiful with surf and clear water. Really, really nice beach and amazing. Thank you, darling. Before you got your bag, I thought you could put your ah. actual camera, the camera in it and carry oh, it around and I stuff. Oh, I love it! Oh, You've got to open it. I mean, yeah, that's what I mean. You can put your money in there now. Or maybe the front. I thought the camera could fit in there while you... Yeah, I love it. And then you open that one. And I love it. There's a little one inside. <laughs> oh, and I love all this stuff. And you're going to open that up. Hold on, hold on. Oh, that's beautiful. Ready? I got matching. And I didn't wear it, so... Thank you, family. I feel very loved. I'm matching. Oh, thank you, guys. I love you. Mwah. Mwah. Oh. It's just you and me tonight. It's right. Our souls will dance above. Where we're flying on a star Take a look at where we are See how far we've come since the life's begun We stole each other's hearts Wouldn't trade it for the world To be a second away from Waiting on another wind so we can pull our anchor up. Um, what did he say? Well, they've got they've got um, a big ship coming in. Can't pull the anchor. Um, Are we in the way? So they want us to move back a bit, but. can't really move and I don't know if I can physically pull our anchor up so we're like in I think we're over 20 meters of water with a 60 pound anchor and 10 mil chain so I have tried to pull it in the past a little bit but I just don't know if we can um we can move it's going we're making water it's a bit loud here on Catalpa it's Sunday it's Mother's Day Mum's had a little, little makeover from Bella. She's having a look in the mirror. What does she think? I like the open. I like this one better than the last one. Right, okay. Yeah. What do you think? How's she done? Oh, you look amazing, Mama. I did my hair, she's done my nails. Your nails are messy and your toenails are I've got to get in the ocean. We haven't been anywhere because of a bit of a kerfuffle with all the, the uh, container ship this morning with the tugboat and we didn't really want to get off the boat in case a big a, a big cruise liner thing, what do they call them? Big ship came in. So we've stayed on the boat most of the day but I have just need to get in the ocean so. Lee has offered to take me for a little bit of a swim and Bella's making spring rolls while we're gone. So here she is. Spring rolls. So I these are noodles from last night that were just plain. And this is fish with garlic, ginger. What are those little leaves? You look very glamorous for cooking. <laughs> you beautiful girl. Um, what, try, what are those leaves called? Uh, it's got kefir lime leaves and ginger and garlic. 
and fish sauce. Fish sauce. There's a mixture there. And shall I say the roll one? You just blend it up and put not too much on. Not too much. Get a fishy one. So you put triangle over. Then in. And then in. And then this one is. There you go. Beautiful. That's how you do it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to come back to a feast. So here is mum. She goes swimming over here. Do, 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 do. So that's where she goes swimming. Sorry for the wonky videoing. It's so hard to keep still. And there's apparently no crocodiles there. Oh, and she's in. And so you can see that she's standing up and dad's on croc watch. And now, if we go downstairs, come up here, and as you can see, I am making spring rolls. Now I'm doing mine. So oh, you got, got the one. Thank you. Some cocktails getting made over here by the beautiful bartender that's uh, got it all going on. Just a little. The kids have got some virgin mocktails. <laughs> oh, cheers to the cheers. best mama on the ocean. To our mama mermaid. Thank you. Cheers. cheers. Oh my god. <laughs> Work at a, I should work it's at a so bar. so good. That is amazing. Cheers, everyone. You drinking there, Belle? Everyone. <laughs> I had a couple of these. <laughs> okay. what, what's that like, a Siraz or...? It looks very plummy. Yeah. We're off to immigration here in uh, Dili in Timor Leste and we're going to see if we can extend our visas for another 30 days. So we've got someone helping us that's got a sponsor for us and um, we're going to see if it all works out. Hopefully it does, otherwise we're going to have to leave tomorrow. Pull the anchor by hand. That would not be that fun, but we'd like to leave. So you never know. So what do we got here, Dada? Well, I'm just going through. So you're, well, grease, you're greasing up the nipple? What is I've, I've cleaned out in here and given it a wire brush and I've noticed a little hole here inside. So I've lined that up without here and it's obviously just been siliconed over and timber over it. So they've actually put a timber edge and siliconed and painted over it and just bypass this nipple. So I've cleaned that out and I'm just about to, I'm just having a look through and seeing what nipples I can find here. And I'm going to screw a nipple on and see if we can actually get some grease coming out through here. I'm assuming that to get a wire and clean out inside there. And, but I'm just going to put it on for now and just hope for the best and see if I can actually get some grease flowing through. I've just given it a little pump and you can see that the grease is pretty much dry as anything and um, it hasn't been greased for a really long time. But the one thing is, it's actually pushing new grease through, so we are going to be able to grease it up. The new grease I've got coming through here, there's the old one, it's like a twig coming out. It's just dried and uh, yeah, indicates it hasn't been greased for a long, long time. But with our new gearbox, uh, new Gypsy, and a full overhaul of this unit we should be able to pull our anchor up and get out of Timor because we've been here too long well, there you have it I was able to fit my nipple on there Did a little play with the nipple and she's uh, got grease running through now which will allow the shaft to be lubricated and uh, should make for a happy windlass Bella and I were doing exercises and I don't even know what went over in my head but I just all of a sudden just Jumped. I jumped really high and, and just smashed my head into the ceiling. 
and I really hurt, but I was in hysteric love because it's so stupid. This is the dumbest thing I've ever done. <laughs> Today has been the shittest day, and um, Bill and I were exercising because we know that we'd feel better if we did. And as, as stupid and as like as dumb as that was, I haven't laughed that hard in a long time. <laughs> it hurt my head so much. I don't know what was happening. I was laughing and crying at the same time because it hurt so bad, but. It was the funniest thing. I just imagined myself jumping and landing up onto the ceiling. I don't even know why I was jumping. It just, <laughs> just jumped as high as I could and hit the roof. She fell on the floor and started like laughing so hard, but she was crying at the same time. Oh. So there's a lesson in this, kids. Don't jump inside a boat. It hurts. But there's no blood, so I'm okay. Got be the flick and alcohol, and we're eating yummy, healthy food. So it's day two. Yesterday he had a very sore head because he's been drinking coffee every day for a very long time. Um, so how are you feeling? Oh look, I'm just enjoying this healthy food. These beans and nuts and... <laughs> really good. <laughs> How's like your head food. today? My head's hurting. It's day two. My head is still hurting. Wow, I didn't realise I was so dependent on the old coffee. Try to get better, surely. <laughs> so like we're all food. eating yummy food. This one's got wild rice, beans, tomatoes and cashew nuts. So they look like um, cockroach eggs. Oh. It's got lemon juice and olive oil as the dressing. Garlic. You're gonna be beaming. <laughs> oh, you look like you love it. That was a big bowl. You just hope. Yeah. So we'll keep you up to date on how it goes. This is day two. If I survive. <laughs> and he can tell you guys how he feels along the way. Maybe it will inspire others to give up one of their weaknesses give up those beautiful aromas in the morning oh. why sweetheart why are you torturing me without coffee and alcohol and sugar and all those things that just keep me sane because i love you be around and i want to grow old with you So it's day three with no coffee, just tea. And he's rummaging around looking for coffee. What are you doing? Oh. How do you feel today? I don't know yet. I haven't woken up and had my cup of tea. Uh, do you feel good? Uh. You look great. You've got an extra sparkle in your eye. Lee has swapped his coffee for green tea. Mama's cooking up a storm in the kitchen over here. That's the poppadoms burning, burning in the background. Sorry, they're not burning. Oh, it's just steamy. It's hot. I'm sweating. But uh, we think this morning we nearly lost Sarah. Um, I'm not 100% sure if it was a pelagic fish or not, but I seen something in the water like yay long, and it just went straight down real quick as we motored past. Just before and I jump in, so Sarah's... he takes me out to the reef, and I'm about to jump in the water, and he goes, what was that? I'm like, what? Because just saw a crocodile. <laughs> Are you joking? Don't be funny. It's not funny. Burn it, baby. And uh, but, anyway, I didn't die, guys. But she still jumped in after we seen it, so we're gonna get out of here. So it's Monday morning here at Groundhog Day. Living the same day over and over. One of the reasons we actually want to get our anchor winch sorted really quickly. The tugs actually asked us to move and we, we, we can't really move because we can't lift our anchor. It's because he said he thinks we're a little bit in the road of his turning circle of these ships. I don't know. What do you reckon? He Is getting a bit of a bum rub. There's crocodiles here, so Sarah can't swim around the boat scrubbing it. She's got to do it out of the tender. She's not a happy camper. So we're on mission to find um, glue for our tender today, and we just got directed to a hardware store. 
and Lee's in heaven. So I think he's gonna, uh, we're gonna lose him in here for a little bit. It's like Bunnings. So we've just been to the hardware store. We had no luck with our glue uh, or water filters or anything that we kind of thought we might be able to get in there. <laughs> but we did find a little cover that we broke on our Mavic Pro. So it was very random, but we have a new one now. So we're still gonna look for some glue. The day's finally come. Our package is well. It arrived yesterday, but it's taken it's away. taken longer to get across Dilly than it has to get from Australia to here. <laughs> That's okay. We've got friends dropping it off very very soon. So I still don't know if it's gonna fit. We're gonna find out really soon if this is actually gonna all work and we can actually leave. So. <laughs> it doesn't. We don't know what Plan B is. No, no Plan B. All right, guys. We've got a little box today. We've That's just picked a happy it up. Happy face. Oh. We haven't opened it yet, but uh, thanks to our good friend Doug in Geraldton. Doug, you're a legend, and Doug's dad, you're a legend, and Doug's brother, Robert, you're a legend it's, too. It's, the whole family. It's been through a few hands this in getting here, but long story, we'll tell you about that later. But anyway, this is the box from Tasmania, which contains our gearbox and motor. And we have another box which contains our gypsy and we have another box which contains our solenoid we get to open it all up and see if it all works so join us next time on sailing catalpa to hear the story about how our windlass got to timor leste and if it works there's a normal deck of cards now i'm going to ask mum to choose one all right choosing a card which card do we choose Show everybody at home because I'm really good at forgetting my card. It all comes all thanks to you all. All thanks to y'all.